Thanks for watching Training with Huddle. Today we're going to go over how to stream to your Huddle TV page using RTMP. To get started, log into vCloud and navigate to the broadcast grid under Produce. Make sure that your site is selected at the top. Then, click on the Operations menu and select Create Broadcast to generate a new event. Now, select your event section, or sport, and fill in the title, date, and time fields. You'll also want to make sure that the time zone is correct, since the default setting may not always be your current location. To enable the RTMP, scroll down to Alternate Sources, make sure that Push Source is checked, and then select RTMP from the dropdown. Then scroll down and hit Create. Now, you can return to the broadcast grid, locate the event that you just created, and click on the information icon to take you to the broadcast details page. Under the source tab, you should see the RTMP stream key and server URL that you need to connect to this event. If a broadcast is not displaying RTMP information, you can update the broadcast to fix this. Click on the pencil icon to edit the event. Then, Scroll down and follow the same steps we did previously, before hitting Save. Now, if you return to the Broadcast Details page, you should be able to see the information that you need. Because of the way RTMP functions, as soon as you connect to the broadcast, your stream will be live. However, there is a way to edit the RTMP so that you can preview the broadcast in test mode first. For this example, we'll use the test broadcast we just created. As you can see from the green dot, it's now ready to connect. In order to activate test mode, we just need to add these five characters to the stream key. Ampersand, T, M, equals sign, and the number one. Hit the paperclip to copy the full key. Now let's show what this looks like on the other side, using OBS as an example. As you can see, I've already inputted the server URL, just need to paste the stream key that we just copied. Now to connect to the broadcast, I'll hit Start Streaming. If you return to the broadcast, you can now preview it in test mode. If everything looks good, return to your broadcast software and stop the stream. Then go into the settings and edit the stream key to remove those five characters. Resume streaming when you're ready. Now you can see that the broadcast is no longer in test mode, but officially live.